Climate solutions are everywhere and here's your weekly dose. You're watching The Good News Show. A city in Brazil has given legal rights to the waves at the mouth of the Dose River. Now this is the first time that a part of the ocean has been granted legal rights. This decision aims to protect the coast after a 2015 dam collapse polluted the river and weakened the waves. In August, the city passed a law to keep the waves safe and the river clean. Imagine if the exhaust from your car or factory could be turned into clean fuel, plastic materials and battery energy using just sunlight. Researchers have found an interesting way to use sunlight to turn two harmful greenhouse gases into useful chemicals. They've developed a process that converts methane and carbon dioxide into green methanol and carbon monoxide in just one step. This could help fight climate change and make industrial products more sustainable. Research shows that Antarctic krill store as much carbon as mangroves, salt marshes and sea crosses. This highlights the importance of krill in fighting climate change. But to protect this crucial species from global warming and potential overfishing, researchers suggest they should receive similar protections as these essential habitats. Krill not only support larger animals like whales, seals and penguins, but are also used in food, aquaculture and dietary supplements. Great news from Norway. For the first time, there are more electric cars than petrol cars on the roads. Diesel cars still make up nearly 1 million vehicles, but their sales are falling fast. Now, this is a historic moment as it shows that Norway is quickly moving towards becoming the first country with mostly electric passenger cars. Researchers have developed a process that can break down common plastics and turn them into materials for making new plastics. Now, it works on both single-use plastic bags and hard plastics like containers and luggage. That means a sandwich bag could be recycled into a new sandwich bag, a soiled milk jug into a fresh milk jug. If expanded, this could help recycle plastic waste into new products, cutting down the need for fossil fuels. Formula One has started using sustainable aviation fuel to help reach its net zero goal by 2030. Now, since March, 20% of cargo flights in partnership with DHL are powered by sustainable aviation fuel, reducing carbon emissions by 80% and saving over 4,500 tons of CO2 this season compared to normal fuel. California has filed a lawsuit against oil giant ExxonMobil, accusing the company of contributing to plastic pollution and misleading the public about recycling after a two-year-long investigation. Now, as per some reports, Exxon is the world's largest producer of resins for single-use plastics. California Attorney General said that his office seeks information on Exxon's promotion of its advanced recycling technology, which uses a process to convert hard-to-recycle plastic into fuel. The largest dam removal project in the US history is now complete. The Klamath River is free of four large dams for the first time in generations. Before the dams were built, the Klamath Basin was the third largest producer of salmon on the West Coast. This is a significant win for tribal communities who've been fighting for the dam's removal since the 1990s. For the first time in South and Southeast Asia, seven net zero climate resilient city action plans were launched for Indian cities. These cities include Ahmedabad, Rajkot, Udaipur, Siliguri, among others. This plan aligns with India's goal to achieve net zero emissions by 2070 as promised by PM Modi at COP26. Now, this initiative will also create around 800,000 green jobs. That's all for this week's Good News Show. See you next Friday at 8 p.m. If you liked this video, subscribe to News with Navya and drop a comment below. You can also support our climate journalism by clicking on the link in our description.